Hello, uh, my name is Eugene and I'm the Librarian at the Royal Geographical Society with the Institute of British Geographers. And today I've got for you two items from our collections. One of them is an instrument, a hypsometer, and the other is from our archives, which is the catalogue of instruments. And these two objects between them can help explain uh, a lot about the activities of the Royal Geographical Society in the late 19th and early 20th centuries uh, in the area of field work, so scientific geography. Uh, the Society was very active in promoting scientific geography and so built up a collection of instruments which it could lend to travellers and explorers. And this instrument is an example of uh, part of that collection. So, uh, what we've got here is a hypsometer or a pressure hypsometer. And this instrument was used uh, in the 19th and early 20th century uh, to ascertain altitude. And it works on the principle that uh, the temperature at which water boils changes with atmospheric pressure, and atmospheric pressure changes with altitude. Therefore, you can use this to find your altitude by boiling water in it, putting in a, a boiling point thermometer, uh, finding out what temperature water boils at, comparing that with a set of tables, and that will then give you your altitude. So it was a very useful, and in fact, an essential piece of equipment for the explorer in the uh, late 19th, early 20th centuries. The instrument uh, had a long life. It was bought in 1898 and had a 50-year service career. During that time, it travelled to Ethiopia, Kenya, the Congo, uh, to the Arctic, Greenland and Ellesmere Island, and also to South America. And the whole history of the uh, use of the instrument is recorded in this book, this catalogue of instruments. So in here, you can see the places the instrument went, the people who borrowed the instrument, and so, in a sense, you've got in here uh, a snapshot of the history of the Society's activities in the late 19th and early 20th centuries.